Greetings from Bangkok, Thailand. Today, it's pretty quiet today on the streets because today is, there's Buddha. Today is Songkran or Thai New Year. So everyone's enjoying their holiday and it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Unfortunately, there's no canal boat taxis running today. So we're gonna head down to the bus stop and we're gonna head over to a market, uh, which hopefully should be quite active, quite lively. So we just gotta go and get down here, get onto the main road, which runs above there. And we're gonna jump on a local bus. So Songkran derives from Sanskrit and the word translates as astro astrological passage which means transformation or change so what happens this is Wat Parsi and I'm just my lodgings are just down here so what happens during Songkran, the way that Thais celebrate, they like to block off all the roads in major commercial areas, residential areas. And it's a bit quiet at the moment, I'm quite surprised, but they come out with water pistols and balloons filled full of water and they have big water fights. So I might get a little bit wet somewhere during this video. It is a concrete jungle this city but we're just going down here we're going to look for a bus station or a bus stop and we've got to get two buses to get to the market Dindeng 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 market we're going to go to it's pretty quiet on the streets though so I'm hoping there's going to be something open there I've been recommended to go there for something special and there's the bus we want to get oh it stops just over there so I better run just made it to the bus. It cost eight bars. Wow, when you step off that bus, it's like taking the lid off a pressure cooker. It is absolutely burning. Guy here with a water pistol shooting everyone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> These are the uh, <laughs> pump action, pump action water pistols that they're using. <laughs> she just shot me on the back. I'm gonna go across here. Well, I'm wet. I got a wet arse now. Wow. Check out this Chinese temple. So we're just going around this corner. <laughs> we're right in the centre now, Pratunam. Guy selling pistols there. So we're just going to go over here and get another bus up to the market. Wow. So people are starting to come out now, I think, because it's gone three o'clock and it's getting a bit cooler. We're on the second mode of transportation, the second bus, and this bus is going to take us up to Dindeng Market, where we're going to be uh, we're going to be transformed. Let's say that much. I've just got off the bus, and this is what happens during Songkran. <laughs> so they all stop in the road. <laughs> They're actually putting some kind of paste on their faces. Luckily, I'm on the other side of the road. But they're actually absolutely dripping in water. <laughs> and they're stopping all the traffic and getting everyone else in the mood. So I've just arrived. I've just arrived at a store, what I'm looking for. 
and I think this guy sells what we're looking for. I've just been done, they got me, they got me, these, these guys. But yeah, this guy is selling a variety of mood enhancers that are going to transform us. So let's get something from this store. Hello. Can I have a small kratom? Kratom, small, small one, small one, small. Okay, okay. Uh, so I'm going to get one of these. I'm going to get a bottle of this kratom. How, how much is this? Sixty. Yeah. This is kratom. It comes from uh, from from uh, a leaf. It's a natural herbal high. They've made they made it into a, to a herbal high drink. There you go. I just I'll just show you the leaves are down here. It's got a bucket bucket full of leaves. Don't think you'll mind. They're all the leaves and they make a drink. And it's now legal in Thailand. <laughs> you can actually uh, sell this. It was illegal for a long time. People chew, chew one of the leaves. And for a long time, they had to like hide the leaves after they chewed them. Uh, so the police wouldn't arrest them. If you drink about half of this bottle, it'll be a nice, give, give you a nice speedy high. But if you drink the full bottle, it's like you've uh, just been chasing the dragon and you'll be really doped out. So I'm going to turn this off a minute. I'm going to have to turn it off and drink half of this. So put me in a nice mood for the afternoon. Get in the mood with everyone else. Just got the top off. So here goes, bottoms up. Happy Songkran! <laughs> nice. It's very nice. They made it very sweet. It's, I've had it in Indonesia in powdered form and it tastes like very bitter green tea. But the Thais actually make it quite nice and it's fresh. And it's going to make me feel pretty happy shortly. a bottle of that I think that's enough I'll see how it goes you've got to be really careful with the dosage you don't want to get really whacked <laughs> so this is a cannabis mixture apparently <laughs> comes in these little bottles I'm just gonna mix it up and drink it comes in this little, like, like a little shampoo bottle. He's put about half a bottle of that in there and it makes you like this guy on the front of the bottle. Oh. <laughs> Definitely a session going on over here. <laughs> I don't know if that's full of Kratom juice. <laughs> that, that Kratom. Kratom. <laughs> wow. So it's pretty lively down there. There's another swimming pool full of Kratom. There's definitely a party atmosphere on down here. Wow, another swimming pool. <laughs> But just in front of us is the market. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Thailand and she put she put a willy in her mouth. That was rather rude. So we just made it to the market. And it is on luckily. Quite a few different stalls quite a few people it's very relaxed atmosphere people eating a bit of music more swimming pools and they got like little things to keep you keep your phone dry second-hand goods there's a diving bag over there 
Then they've got new goods, new goods on this side. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, looks like a nice little, like nice, nice little neighbourhood market. Looks like honey, honey or something. Not sure what that is. More second-hand stuff. Wow. So it's quite pleasant, pleasant neighbourhood. Something going on over there. Some kind of religious activities, I think. Singing. More second-hand stuff, speakers. But we're not in the centre of the market yet. There's still quite a few more stalls. Second-hand t-shirts, three. Is that three for a hundred? Lots of second-hand stuff, which is good. 50, that's like just over a dollar for a t-shirt. Not bad. Bags, lots of bags. Okay, we're coming to the food section now. Got those like pancakes. It's about 10 minutes since I've had that drink and I can feel it kicking in already. I'm starting to feel very warm. Don't know what this lady, oh, mango. Mango with a chili dip, meatballs. Kids enjoying themselves in a little water fight. And I think now we're going into the meat market uh, the food market, but there's not much on today because of the because of the songkran. Check out the chilies, spicy chilies, curries, chicken. Yeah, uh, they're selling durian over here. Durian and prawns. Check out the prawns. Check out those Thai king prawns. Wow, durian, which is very nice might get one as it's as it's a special day I might get one of these so she's weighing them out over there it looks like 99 99 bar to kilo so they got different qualities this one down here is 119 a kilo and I think it tastes tastes slightly sweeter so I might give this one a whirl. Not too bad. Shouldn't, shouldn't be much more than 120. I think that's for customers who don't pay. So I've just picked one out and he's, he's like tapping it I guess to see if it's like shaking around inside. I think he's getting I think what I'll do, he'll cut it open a little bit. Oh, okay, okay, it's like uh, 150 or 130. So it's like one, one and a quarter kilos. Okay, okay. So it's one, 118, which is just, it's about almost three dollars, just over two dollars. So he's going to uh, cut it open first get that shell off it I don't think you're allowed to take this on the bus <laughs> so you might not say anything because I'm a foreigner plead ignorance uh, Yeah, it's pretty good, pretty nice and broken. Apparently you're not, mo not supposed to mix this with alcohol. It's got a very soft, like, kind of custardy, custardy flavour, very unusual. As you can see, a lot of people like it, it's very popular. Hi. And we got it stacked up to the sky, <laughs> got it everywhere. So I'll just pay up for this, should be about 118. You got mangoes, rambutan, more of them plums. Wow. And check these out, these are called dragon fruits. Very nice. But I've already got this durian and I've got some uh, 
some of those little plums they're nice a lot of very unusual vegetables as well those are little aubergines and check out those things little okras a lot of very strange stuff Hello. you okay you okay yeah. quite friendly oh, sticky fried rice that is very nice is that is that sweet coconut yeah okay 30 uh, it's quite a big one. Oh, I love one so i think i'll get one of these as well to have for me dinner later sticky fried rice and it's it's cooked with uh coconut coconut and um yeah it's very nice I'll put it in here, it's okay. Okay. I'll, have that, I'll have that with me potatoes and Kidorian later. What a combination. Wow, check out all those. Rambutan, mangosteen, dragon fruits. Very, very colourful, very colourful market. Lots of nice things for sale. But unfortunately, I don't know how to cook a lot of it. Nice. Wow. Guy over here selling lottery tickets. Wow. I'm feeling really whacked now. It's only been about 15 minutes. But it's very nice. Very nice indeed. But it's not something you should do every day. And I'm not, I'm not selling it. I'm not promoting it. It's purely for educational purposes. What's this guy doing? Milkshakes. Nice. Wow. So we're almost back out on the street again. Wow. Fruits. Grapefruits. And they have like a spicy salt. What they like to eat with uh, things like grapefruit and mangoes. Wow. Salted eggs. Peanuts. All kinds of stuff for sale. Looks like seaweed, chicken. Wow. Oh, check out these prawns, oysters. Not oysters, are they? Clams. Nice. Wow. Eggs. Everything's fresh. Nothing's got a brand name on it. Wow. Making a salad. Spicy Thai salad. Wow, nice, really nice market. And no more, oh, I've seen two more foreigners. Uh, rice, pork. It's quite busy now. Everyone comes out now because it's getting, getting close to uh, sunset and it's a bit cold, cooler. It's still alive that, fucking around. <laughs> Hear those motorbikes revving up, getting the party started. That looks very unusual. What's that one? It's like a jelly, jelly drink. Wow. It's colourful, very, very colourful. Nice. And right at the entrance to the market, they're selling those kratom leaves again. What's this? Uh, omelette. I think I might try one of these actually. Nice looking omelette. 25, 25 baht. They look really nice. Looks like it's wrapped in something. It's got like bean sprouts and everything inside. I think I'll try one of these. These guys are just soaking everyone. Wow. More kratom. Check out all the kratom. It must be the uh, drug of choice for tonight. Wow. Fresh. They've got different leaves, different size. I've, I've, I've got to walk through the valley of death. <laughs> wow, it's full on now. 
out here, check it out, check all the suns out. Swimming pools, whiskey, people sitting in bins full of water, really noisy. So a kind lady just gave me some of these for free, she didn't even charge me, so I'll give it a little get rid of the stalk maybe. So I think I think you're supposed to just like fold it up like this. It's got a very very tough texture. And I think you just chew it, chew it for a while. It doesn't taste good. It tastes like you're chewing grass. DJ on the sidewalk. back to where we started and we're going to have a little drink little drinky poos before I go and check back into my room there's a little bar very very interesting little bar I want you to see just around the corner so I said I'd take you to a bar but it's not that one <laughs> it's another one just down here I hope he's not closed oh yeah he's open Hello. <laughs> Hello. So at the. Hello. <laughs> so this is the best bar in Bangkok. Hello. So at the. So this this is whiskey. Whiskey. Yeah, Thai whiskey, and the guy makes it himself. He puts he puts herbs in it. Whiskey Thai. Whiskey Thai, yeah. Ah, Thailand. Dong, Ya Dong. Dong, Dong. Ya Dong. Ya Dong. Ya Dong. Must be getting drunk. Yeah. One? This this one? Okay, shot. One shot. So he's got he's got like four different ones. I think that one's the strongest. If you take the lid off and smell it, you'll step back because it's so strong. He scoops it out like this. Yeah. Yeah, put it in a little shot glass for you. Yeah. So finished. Finished. Okay. Yeah, so I thought this is quite an, uh, an appropriate appropriate way to end the night. Big Willy there. <laughs> he to show. Oh, he's got a little willy. <laughs> oh, he's got three willies. Three. <laughs> we got three. Three. I've, I've only got one. <laughs> he's got three. I've only got one. Yeah. So he makes this himself, and he's got he's got little. Yeah, yeah, big one, big one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. He likes his willies. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Let's give this a shot. Uh, thank you, Captain Kai. So this. Uh, very nice, very nice. And you don't need to mix it with anything. Thank you. <laughs> the best bar, the best bar in Bangkok. Ah, yeah. Happy Songkran. Okay. Happy New Year. <laughs> so this will cost a grand total of 10 baht. And he's got little pictures. You can't see him now because it's getting dark. But they must go up in strength. 
because he's got these little pictures of people flexing the muscles and when, when it gets up to this one it's like gives you one of them it's supposed to be very good very good for the uh, for the old bedroom exercises anyway a little glass of water Captain Carr thank you a little bit of water to wash it down yeah so anyway happy new year very good very interesting time today in the market in Bangkok and uh, I hope to see you in the next video another little adventure so happy new year